Initial contact made. The soft capture ring is now going to begin to retract. Mission Control in Los Angeles watches patiently as the Endeavour capsule docks smoothly. On the other side of the hatch, a team at the International Space Station welcomes three astronauts on the trip of a lifetime. Retired NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria led the 20-hour flight for the first time as Ethan Stibb, Mark Pathy and Larry Connor. The entrepreneurs paid $55 million each to stay in space for just over a week. It's the first non-professional astronaut team to travel to the ISS. NASA and others say it's a milestone in the commercialization of low Earth orbit. I actually heard that filter song in the 90s, you're probably not going to get it. But that's okay because, not important. But what, what are we looking at here? This was a new one for me. Um, this is really interesting. I've never seen space Kleenex before. I don't know what else to call this. Space stuffing. Space hankies. Whatever they've stuffed into the little aluminum foil wrapping around the engine here is falling out with all the, the vibrating and, and such. So, the ironic thing is that I only found this little clip. I'm sure other people found it too, but I found it purely just by watching the SpaceX footage of this, the, the launch of this recent uh, you know journey to the ISS uh, by the first all-private space mission, right? These these three millionaires or billionaires, whatever they are, who paid $55 million each to go spend a week on the space station. And they're going to help with the research doing, I think, something to do with cancer cells on, or something in zero gravity. Good grief. But yeah, but I only even found this because I was listening to this uh, sermon by Pastor Charles Lawson that somebody sent me. I'm sure many of you remember him. Uh, back from, you know, 2015 or 2016 or whenever it was. So that was kind of a trip, but also kind of a, also kind of a bummer. Our whole lives we spend looking at the horizon and it's flat. I mean, it's, it's, it's flat. That's all, that's what the horizon is supposed to look like. And you get up here to orbit, all of a sudden, there's this curve. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Because most everything does float. Everybody's certainly here at the Smithsonian today, all the future engineers and everywhere to understand why the science on the space station helps us out here on Earth. Alive. We got a better place to learn with our time. We don't spend anymore.